Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and this is stage two of four of making the soap that I use to wash dishes. Now at this point, we can see it doesn't look quite the same. Uh, it's kind of a big brown cacophony of mess. When you saw it, there were a lot of different colors in here because there were tons and tons of different batches of soap that, you know, just were scraps used over. A few of them I actually did cut with a knife, and you can still kind of see those because they just didn't really fully melt. You can still see kind of the solids. Didn't fully melt. But the ones that I shaved with a cheese grater are just completely melted. So, this is the next stage. Now, let's get you into the picture here. We want to keep in mind, since this is something that I am actually washing my dishes with, something we eat from, we cook with, do want to make sure it's sanitary. But I have the assurance that, first of all, cold process soap has a very high pH to start out with. That's why it doesn't mold in the shower, even though there's a lot of water in there. Second of all, um, it's been shaved and dried out for months. And then third of all, it's been on a very, very hot temperature for an hour and a half. So I'm totally convinced this is completely safe. I'm not at all worried. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put some scent oil into it. I don't have to. It's just going to be for dishes. But why not? This is actually going to make the house smell good tonight. My wife and son are going to really smell this tonight. Uh, this is Brambleberry's um, Island Escape. It smells great. I like it. I use it primarily for laundry detergent and for the liquid hand soap. I'm going to go ahead and put it into this. Now, technically, once I go ahead and mold this and it cools down, I could take it in the shower and use it. It probably would be a little irritating, though, because even though the scent and all this soap has gone by now, the chemical is still there. And here I go adding some more. But this is not going to be for use in the shower, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm going to go ahead and just stir, slowly stir this in. And then we'll get this in the mold and let it harden up. And the next stage in the video, the third or fourth, will be to cut it and show you how I dilute it. And then the fourth video will actually be using it to wash dishes. Alright, why do I do this? Why do I go through the trouble? I know. There's a bottle of Dawn dishwashing detergent under my sink, which sometimes we use. There's a dishwasher right over here to my left. I don't use the dishwasher because the stupid thing runs for two hours and then the dishes still come out dirty, especially the top rack. And I've had a dishwasher practically my whole life. As a kid, we had one. I've had one almost my entire adult life. They've all been great. The one I have now is horrible, so I always, almost always hand wash my dishes. Why do I do this? Well, you know what? You've heard me say it a thousand times. This is a hobby. It's just something I enjoy, and this way, soap that's left over is not going to waste. It's not because I'm so hard up I can't afford it. If that were the case, I wouldn't be making soap in the first place because I couldn't afford the expensive oils and lye and scents and so forth. It's a hobby. And when I get to the part where I'm actually washing the dishes with it, you're going to see that it's a completely different experience than washing with the Dawn dishwashing detergent. So, this is really getting stiff now because it's starting to cool down. It's sitting on the burner, but I turned it off about 15 minutes ago to let it cool down some. So let's go ahead and get this into the mold. Now normally, I put this into my silicone muffin mold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it into one of my log molds today. Just so we can actually go through the cutting in a day or two. So here we go. Make sure I try to get you into the picture here. not in the picture, I'll get you in just a minute. Bear with me. I'm going to kind of smash this down the best I can because where it's cooling down, it is starting to harden pretty quickly. All right, that's all I'm going to get out of there. 
right there, what's in this pot is enough to do a small load. So I'm just going to leave it alone and I'll be able to do a small load with that. Now let's get you over here. Let's see, can you see that? There we go. I'm just going to kind of take this and smash it down. And there we go. Now, I'm going to let this sit for a few days to harden. Actually, hopefully, it'll be able to come out of the mold. It's pretty dry as it is because of the heat of cooking. Hopefully, I will be able to get this out of the mold as soon as it cools down and that way that'll expose all of the sides to the air so it can dry even faster as soon as I know it's dried and ready to cut I'll cut it dilute it that'll be my third video and actually using it will be my fourth so here's two of four and I will see you later thanks for watching bye